So in this lesson, we're going to talk about fun asteroids. Uh, so, look, Paul, you, you talked about stars, you talked about planets. So first you said, well, pretty much the whole solar system is just a star, so we don't care about the planets. But then you convinced us at least we should care about Jupiter. But then we still talked a lot about geology and atmospheres, and none of this applies to asteroids, so why bother? Yeah, so many people would think asteroids, I mean, if you add them all up, there's a lot of them. Yep. But you add them all up, it's still sod all in the form of mass. It's a tiny fraction of even the mass of Pluto. Yep. Um, and they don't have atmospheres, they don't have volcanoes. Why are we interested in these things? I mean, there are a lot of them. I mean, that's, yep. here's the picture of the asteroids in our solar system. And there are probably bigger than one a kilometre or so in size. There are yep. probably one and a half million of them in our solar system. Yep. But even so, that doesn't add up to very much. That's right. I mean, even if you add up a whole bunch of those, you're still getting nowhere near a Jupiter, right? Yeah. So why are we even bothering with this? I mean, I the space vermin, uh, like yeah. <laughs> rats of space. You know. <laughs> and I guess there are two reasons. Okay. One is this is the only thing in the solar system that's going to kill you. True. I guess if you're really self-centric, this is the only thing that we'd worry about in terms of something from outer space destroying, not the Earth necessarily, but wiping out civilization. And we're going to talk a bit about this, right? Yeah, I mean, maybe a very big solar flare could disrupt communications and cause a bit of trouble. But by and large, if you're going to get killed by something from space, it's going to be one of the asteroids hitting the Earth. That's right. The, the solar flare can really disrupt and uh, annoy our lives, as we talk a bit about in the space course, but it's not going to end our lives, unlike a potential asteroid. That's right. So. Reason one, asteroids can kill you. Okay. So there's actual practical application. So we want to know about them because we want to know what may kill us. All right, fine, I'll buy that. And another practical application is space mining. So we want to exploit them. Yes, now they're a very small fraction of the mass of the solar system, so you might think they'd be the last thing you'd mine. Yep. But of course, most of the mass in, say, the Earth is like 6,000 kilometers below our feet. That's right. And we can't mine it. Yep. We can only mine the surface of planets. Yep. And actually, it turns out that most of the surface area in our solar system is actually in the asteroids. So because they're so relatively small, most of that stuff is contained to a smaller area, which is easier to access. Uh, well, yes, yeah, it's, it's near the surface. I mean, something that's a kilometre across, you could probably mine all of it. Yep. Um, whereas something that's 6,000 kilometres, like the Earth, you're only going to mine the outer kilometre. Exactly. So in fact, the amount of reachable minerals that are within say a kilometre of the surface, that being about the deepest mines ever go, the asteroids have far more because they're lots of small bits. So we are interested because they may wipe us out and we're interested because we want to wipe them out, essentially. <laughs> yes, eat them before they eat us. That's right. 